Pedro Alonso has undeniably captured the hearts of fans all over the world for his stunning performance in Money Heist. His popularity soared to such heights that he got his own Netflix spin-off show titled Berlin. But here's the exciting part, there's more to Alonso than meets the eye. Here are 10 things you didn't know about Pedro Alonso. Number 10. Berlin almost didn't make the show Money Heist Despite being widely loved for his role as Berlin in Money Heist, Alonzo's character, Berlin, faced an unexpected twist on his journey to the show's success. Can you believe that there was a moment when the writers considered removing him from the storyline? Surprising, right? The reason behind this was some people felt that Berlin's disrespectful and self-centered traits didn't quite align with today's current society. The show producer refused to do so. He believed that Berlin's character would bring a fascinating layer of complications, elevating the storyline and making it even more captivating as the bad guy. Fans undoubtedly would agree that Money Heist simply wouldn't be the same without Pedro Alonso. His presence is like the secret ingredient that brings the best out of each Money Heist character. Number 9. Not So Single Apologies to anyone still holding out hope, but Pedro Alonso is off the market. Unlike Berlin's complicated love life on Money Heist, Alonso openly spilled the beans about being in a relationship with the lovely Tatiana Georgievich, a skilled hypnotherapist. The two have been in a delightful long-term relationship, making several red carpet appearances together. But it doesn't stop there. In 2019, Alonso took to Instagram to sing praises for Tatiana, describing her as a woman with a big heart. He even shared a picture showcasing her art and urged his followers to explore her hypnotherapy services. Now, for all you Money Heist fans, the name Tatiana might ring a bell, bearing a striking resemblance to Berlin's rumored ex-wife. And to sprinkle a little of family sweetness, Alonzo is not just a dashing actor, but also a proud father. He has a 25-year-old daughter named Uriel from a previous chapter in his life. Ah, the joys of love, art, and family. Alonzo's life is truly a captivating masterpiece. Number 8. Before Money Heist, Alonzo had major roles on Spanish TV. Money Heist might have been the TV show that brought Alonzo to the limelight, but did you know that before this, he had other major roles in successful TV shows. He appeared in the TV show The Ministry of Time, playing Lieutenant Cherry in two episodes. Grand Hotel, which also aired on Sky in the UK in 2012, established Alonzo as a household name in Europe and South America. However, his first major role in a crime drama was in the Spanish show Under Suspicion. Number 7. Alonzo Loves Art One notable thing about Alonzo's character as Berlin is that he loves art, singing, dancing, painting, and various other forms that reference his creative spirit, find expression in different forms. This is also true with Alonzo in real life. For one, Alonzo is an abstract artist and has showcased numerous vibrant drawings and paintings on his Instagram. He effortlessly combines his love for acting and painting, even incorporating his artistic touch directly onto his scripts to deepen his connection with the characters. He also expresses his admiration for various pop culture icons, from Frankenstein's monster to Jack Nicholson, through his artwork and detailed captions. Berlin's captivating dance moves and money heist are not just for the show. Alonzo, in a bid to enhance his acting career, actually enrolled in professional dancing classes. Beyond this, he's also a prolific writer with numerous publications under the tag Pedro Alonso Ochoro. It's clear to see that Alonso finds almost as much joy in all of these other forms of artistic expression as he does in acting. Number 6. Alonso is religious Maybe or maybe not, you might have pictured Alonzo as a religious guy, but the thing is, he actually is. Alonzo practices shamanism, an ancient and somewhat controversial religion that involves believers relying on a messenger in a trance-like state to connect with the spirit world. Alonzo shared his first experience with shamanism in an interview and how his new beliefs had made him feel more connected to Berlin's character. Recounting the experience, he said, I was returning from a trip to Mexico where I had a small role in a local series. This trip was a discovery for me, a new stage in my life. I was touched by Mexican shamanism and its culture. So, when I read the first two sequences of Berlin, I immediately understood that he was a shaman. But not a shaman of light. He was very intelligent and above all dangerous. A kind of guru who could manipulate everyone as he pleases. I did not have to prepare too much for the character. I decided to play intuitively and naturally, and it worked. 
He mentioned personally conducting a ritual just a night before receiving the scripts for Berlin and joining the Money Heist cast. Number 5. Prefers playing villains Berlin is anything but a hero, and one thing you might notice about Alonzo playing Berlin is how he plays the character so well. Well, this is understandable as Alonzo has declared his preference for playing villains. In an interview with El Pais, he expressed his view that heroic roles can be too limiting, saying, Villains are often more interesting. A villain can do whatever he wants. And if you want to find the humanity in that character, you can. Number 4. He is multilingual. Pedro Alonso comes from a town in Galicia, Spain, and he primarily spoke Galician in the early stages of his career, being his native language. However, besides Galician, the Spanish actor is also fluent in English and Catalan. This ability to speak multiple languages has significantly contributed to his success, allowing him to feature in a range of movies and connect to his fans worldwide. Number 3. His Favorite Money Heist Co-Star It's no secret that the Money Heist crew share a tight-knit family bond. Pedro Alonso's sense of humor not only added to the love within the cast but also made him quite cherished. It's no surprise that both Alba Flores, the incredible actress behind Nairobi, and Ursula Corbero, who played Tokyo, chose him as their favorite co-star. Now, talking about Alonzo's favorite cast member, in an interview he shared that while he admires everyone, his top pick is Alba Flores. But here's a fascinating twist. Despite Flores being his favorite co-star, Alonzo also shares a profound connection with Alvaro Morte, the talented actor portraying the professor on the show. Can you believe they even suggested portraying the professor and Berlin as brothers? During their rehearsals, Alonzo and Morte forged a strong connection, so they wanted to add an extra layer of depth to the characters, proposing the idea that the professor and Berlin became brothers in the TV show, not just characters bound by work. It's these kinds of creative collaborations that make the show truly special. Number 2. His character's death on Money Heist was not initially scripted When it comes to the show, the Money Heist writers haven't been afraid to kill off fan-favorite characters. Nairobi and Tokyo were two of the most loved characters on the show. Yet, they did die to add the unpredictable factor to the storyline. However, Berlin's death on the show might not have been part of the original script. The writers never knew the show would be on Netflix and thought his death might be a fitting end to the TV show. So, they chose to give him a memorable send-off, recognizing his important role in the series. Number 1. Alonzo has a twin brother This one might actually shock you, but Alonzo has a twin brother named Paul. Alonzo made this fact known publicly for the first time in an Instagram post celebrating his 50th birthday, posting a photo of the two alongside their mother, Pirita, with a heartfelt caption that reads, 50 and welcome to summer. Thanks to life and to all of you, no or not, who send me tons and tons of affection. It goes for you guys. In the second photo with my beloved brother, Paul, my twin, to whom another 50 falls and with my precious mother, Perita, whom I am so thankful for for giving us life and for her blessed energy to sustain us. I love you guys. Despite their strong bond, Paul has chosen to stay out of the public eye, allowing Pedro to shine while maintaining a supportive and significant presence in his life. How amazing is it to know there's actually a Pedro Alonso doppelganger out there? And that's a wrap on 10 things you didn't know about Pedro Alonso. Which of these facts surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.